Recorded live in Austin, Texas, USA, it's The William Montgomery Show. Starring William Montgomery. With the Tony Chin Orchestra. The William Montgomery Junior Dancer. As always, William is joined by the lovely Erica. I'm Brett Erickson. And now, here he is. The Big Red Machine, William Montgomery. What kind of tattoo would you get, Casey? I don't know. I was thinking of some, maybe get like... Some on your forearm? Yeah, something on the other forearm. Or maybe extend this one down there, get some words down there. That'd be cool. Yeah, I don't know yet. What words? Do you I don't have any know. idea? I don't know. I'm debating whether I would want something funny or something dark as hell. Something to kind yep. of... For give sure. off some of my twisted vibes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to start pushing us out to Zoom. Is that cool? Uh, cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> can't, when did you... Are you having the same person do all your tattoos? No, this was a different guy. It was some local Austin guy who was just in the room. The guys are all so nice. The other, yeah. There's this other guy who's just sat in there both times I've been in there, and somebody else started getting a tattoo. But they're super nice, just local people at a yeah. place off of South Congress. Oh, cool. Yeah, it looks great. It looks like the same, I don't know, as the other one. Like, I thought it would be the same artist. It looks really good. No, yeah, different. Yeah, it hurt. I bet. Right there on the thigh. Ooh. They, when it started getting on the inner part, it was like, because <laughs> I'm tentatively planning on having my entire leg tatted up. Just the one? You want to go all the way down? I don't know. You should. But I could go up. So I still, still could go up a little, but then it starts getting in weird territory almost. But I bet the, the panty line right there would be really brutal. <laughs> yeah. That would hurt so bad. <laughs> yeah. I'd like to get a little Playboy bunny right there. Like how girls would do that with the tanning tattoos. Yeah. yeah. I'd like to do that. That'd be cool. Maybe get a little damn cigar in his mouth. Who cares? Ooh, yeah. That'd be fun. Yeah, we'll see how this goes. It was fun uh, a couple weeks ago. Yeah, I'm excited to talk to the people, get to the bottom of it. Yeah, you guys ready to bring some people in? Yeah, just one at a time. One, one, at, a time. one at a time. Okay, I can do that. We're going to go to our first person. This is Tommy Tosu, who I believe jumped in the call way early. So hopefully they're okay. still around. Talk to me, Tommy. I don't know why you're throwing them under the bus like that, Grant. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mean it like that. Okay. Seems like a nice enough guy. Uh, hello, Tommy. You there? Oh, there we go. Can you hear me? Tommy. Hi, Tom. What's up, guys? Can you see me? No. No, we can't see you yet. Grant, he might not. He said this guy Tommy got in like an hour early. I don't know if we should put him on here. So You thought you were a little too freaky, Tomo. Yeah. Uh, I'm just uh, over here painting. Painting or painting? (laughs) Painting. Painting. Nothing freaky, though. What are you painting? Like a portrait? Uh, I'm painting uh, a statue, and I'm working on a commission at the same time. Cool. Mm-hmm. Both sides of the brand. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I got it. <laughs> while while one melts, there we go. There we go. Tommy right. Tassie, we see you, man. How's it going? Hello. Hi, Tommy. Casey, I said a prayer for you uh, last week when you're in the hospital. Thank you. Yeah, I was telling William it pretty much raised me from the grave. I knew you guys were praying for me. It saved me. Yeah, thank oh, you. We're here. we're here for you. Thousand blessings. Yeah, it helped. <laughs> yeah, thousand, <laughs> thousand blessings. <laughs> It How you felt, guys doing? Felt good. We're good. We're in a bit of a goofy mood today. We've been talking about going to Key West and going surfboarding. Yeah, we're oh, in, yeah, we're thinking I'm about in Tampa. Going. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're in Tampa? Tampa? Did the hurricane hit you? Uh, I did, but I was safe. I'm above sea level pretty well, so mm. good. Cool. So, what are you painting? The thing behind you, the Goodfellas scene. Uh, that, this is a uh, an old painting. This is just a print of it. I'll try to take this thing off. But uh, yes, yeah, Jerry Seinfeld, De Niro, and Jay Z sharing a pizza pie. Oh, cool! So that's not from Goodfellas. <laughs> I saw that wrong. No, not <laughs> <laughs> the classic after credit scene of Goodfellas. <laughs> Jerry Seinfeld walks in. 
<laughs> I actually do have to do a painting of uh, Pesci in that funky suit, though. Ooh, cool. Oh, my yeah, gosh. Is so. there any way we could commission a portrait of you, of Casey and I? Yeah, I was going to say um, either you or maybe Gator or uh, Grimace. You maybe know. all, maybe everybody. Maybe we put the I mean, whole damn gang in there. Yeah. Let's do it. That'd be amazing. I don't know how much you charge per person, but we could probably work out the details. Yeah, we could work some now. Maybe give me a little shout out on, a, on set or something like that. Yeah, I mean, we could figure we could it out. out. We could do some sort of handshake agreement. Yeah, we yeah, totally I'm, could. I'm broke right now, but. Well, we could get you else. here. Yeah, as long as Grant doesn't care. I mean, Grant's the final say in all this stuff. So if he's okay with it, we'll be cool with it. Yeah, Grant, I tried to reply in the chat, and it just wouldn't let me. It said chat turned off by host, so I don't know what was going on. Initially, I had it disabled, it seems. I fixed that. I'm now getting people chatting with me. But, yeah, sorry about that. Are you chatting with people? Are you being nice? I saw it. I am. He said, he said cool, Chad's about to end. I was like, oh, no, Grant's, Grant's mad at me. <laughs> <laughs> What you have you eaten anything today? Um, yeah, I had uh, English muffin and, and eggs. Oh, yeah, a king's breakfast. The gentleman. I'm gonna make a, a turkey and cheese sandwich when this is over, probably. Cool. Yum. I got, I got a sweet little dog named Braxton over here. Oh my gosh! Look at Braxton. Hi, little fella. Hey, Braxton. Give us a kiss, Braxton. Yeah. Want a kiss? Show us your teeth. Braxton. You got some teeth. Let's see your teeth, teeth, buddy. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> he's got some fangs on him, dude. Does he ever bite yeah, at he, you? He's a sweetheart. No, he never bites at me. Cool. Thank God. Unless Thanks. for like running, then I'll like try to like bite my ass. I don't know what that's about. Woo. But bite butt cheek. He gets, <laughs> he gets cool. excited. <laughs> that's kind of sweet. Well, Tommy, do you have a pair of uh, absolute hammers on you? You got big butt cheeks, or why do you think he's trying to do uh, that? I, I got I got a bony butt, actually. Ah, oh, gross. Show us, prove Show it. Show us your butt. <laughs> <laughs> and what were I'll you drinking up. there? That was water, correct? I, that was water. Yeah, I stopped drinking alcohol. Yeah, cool. Good for you. Both of us have stopped. Yeah, we're off the sauce. Nice. We're off the sauce. So, Even though every now and again I want to drink a butt ice, but I I won't. <laughs> Yeah, I can't. I can't make a straight line when I'm drinking. You know. So, <laughs> what was your drink of choice, Tommy? Would you? Did you ever drink ice beer like Milwaukee's best ice? I like Coronas. I also mm -hmm. like tequila. Yeah. I bartended for like eight years, so I was I was in it. Tampa time. Yeah, Tampa time. Is that what they call mm -hmm. people who get real drunk down in Florida? It must be Tampa time. Tampa time. We're going Gosh, on Tampa close. time tonight. A lot of bars. For sure. Chili's? Chili's? Uh, no, I don't really go to Chili's. I should, though. I still have anyone to go with. Yeah, it's pretty good, and they're actually closing them all down. It's they're What's happening to the Bye Bye Baby? They're closing all them down. They're closing all the Chili's down. So, yeah, anybody watching this, also you, Tommy, just remember, try to go to Chili's within the next couple months, but because yeah. they're all going to be closed down. They're liquidating. Definitely. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, they need more liquid capital for something with the with the stockholders they need liquid they're getting liquid they're trying yeah. to find some sort of scalable marketplace yeah i mean once chili's can find the scalable marketplace to put all those assets i think chili's will be back in probably grade a grade a situation but before then they're closing down like a thousand stores <laughs> so shit <laughs> but from the ashes will grow something so much greater yep that's what happened to burger king i think mm-hmm there was literally a fire at that Burger King. Um, well, Tommy, <laughs> so nice to talk to you. I hope you and Braxton have a nice day and share some of that sandwich Thank with Braxton. Man. Yeah, I will. Have a great day, guys. Give him a piece of turkey, no butter. Please. Thank you. Peace. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Braxton hey. had such nice teeth. He did. That was a classic uh, dog mouth. <laughs> 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 Just a just a classic one to one dog mouth. Beautiful. I mean, uh, Gator's been losing her teeth. I've been trying to really? find them. Yeah, <laughs> their front teeth. They're looking weird because they're falling out. Do dogs have baby teeth? 
Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. I didn't know that either. I think they do. That's what I've been told. I think. Yeah, or she's just losing not her teeth. Falling out from <laughs> malnutrition or something. Yeah. <laughs> she needs vitamins or something. Oh, my gosh. Last night, Erica said that Gator looks sad. And I was like, what? Is this their toothless? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Matthew Forrester? Matthew. Matthew Foster. Foster yeah. What's up? Hey, Matt. What's happening, man? <laughs> Not shit. We're just chilling. Just kicking it mostly. Did you know dogs have baby teeth? Uh, I didn't know that. <laughs> Is that true? <laughs> Must be. All right. <laughs> did you look cool. at somebody well, yeah. and they did their head yes that that's true? I looked at him and he didn't say anything. <laughs> <laughs> Who are you looking at? Or your dog or a person? Trying to confirm it? Uh, it's my homeboy, Chris. He watches the show with me every week, actually. <laughs> Chris, what's up, dude? Hey, uh, uh, hey Chris. Did you hear that hey, burp? Man. We've been drinking today. We've been drinking. It's Tampa time. Oh, shit. Yeah, we're on the Tampa. The sober cleanse is gone, huh? Yeah, two years, whatever. I can get to two years in a couple of years again. Um, Hell yeah. Start over. <laughs> rebuild, baby. Yeah, rebuild from the ashes. No, I'm kidding. We're not drinking. Casey's drinking water, and I'm drinking some of this sparkling stuff. Yeah, I figured. I figured. <laughs> Just, are you pulling your leg? Yeah, yeah. So what are y'all doing? Just chilling? We're watching Squid Games, actually. <laughs> oh, the, the yeah, new one where they recreate the games or the original show? I'm not sure. It was the one that came out last year. Mm. The Korean one. Mm. Ooh, yeah, I don't watch a lot of Korean stuff, so maybe that makes sense why I didn't even hear about it. Um, I, wa I was watching it in Korean the first episode, but my buddy said that he didn't like reading the subtitles, so he had me change it to English, and uh, it's kind of weird. <laughs> <laughs> Who, the guy you're with? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, my buddy Chris. <laughs> he didn't like reading the subtitles. Yeah, I was just I was just watching U five seven one the other night, the submarine the movie, German one. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and there's uh, subtitles in that. And I was like, get them off. I'm not trying to read when I'm watching submarine shit. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, I had no idea what you just said, but all right. U five seven one. Look it up. It's a very classic submarine movie. Sounds good. Yeah, about a German sub. German, yeah, German stuff. <laughs> yeah, young Matthew McConaughey. He's he's throughout the movie. There's a German interpreter. Uh, yeah, it's fine. I actually don't necessarily recommend it. Hell yeah. Hey, uh, I actually saw you at the the Ontario show here in California. Uh, I saw you at the Late Show with Tony. You opened for him. And you fucking killed that show. Was awesome. <laughs> oh, thanks, man. That was fun. Yeah, those Ontario shows were fun. It was we were able to go to the Rainforest Cafe across the street, so that was probably a <laughs> highlight. Yeah, my, I told my buddy, I was like, hey, we should go just in case he's there. And then I heard you say something about it on the podcast. You're like, yeah, we went and there was fucking nobody there. I was like, oh shit, well, we could have came and said what's up. <laughs> Yeah. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh my gosh. There was at one there's point, no one there. Nobody was there. It was a disaster. Oh, Some no. guy <laughs> pulled up to me in a van who I recognized who wasn't doing good, and I thought he was going <laughs> to get a gun out of the car. It was scaring me. No, I'm kidding. He seemed nice. He, something was wrong with him though. He seemed like he's on drugs or like yes. mentally disturbed. Oh, okay. Both. <laughs> Which scared my ass. I mean, it was something else. I just run yeah. to the Seven Eleven, but whatever. So, how are things in Ontario? Is it really hot there? Uh, well, I live in Moreno Valley. I just drove out to Ontario to go see the show. But uh, yeah, it's not too bad. It's a uh, middle of fucking nowhere, just a bunch of warehouses and shit. <laughs> yeah, I've been doing those. It's not geocaching, but what's the thing where you see the picture and you can guess where people are? I don't know. I, I think, think that that's geocaching. My brother does that. He finds like a little note. He just writes his name and then you can like swap out like pins or stickers or whatever the fuck they keep in a little capsule. Drugs. Drugs. Probably. Ecstasy yeah, pill. maybe. <laughs> ecstasy tablets. Don't, uh, don't take ecstasy though. Cause it could have PMA in it, which is gotcha. a very scary research chemical. <laughs> yeah. Or Bromo dragonfly. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, yeah, that killed a bunch of people at 05, I think. Yeah, mm -hmm. Bromo Dragonfly killed, oh, gosh. Death Trip, 48 hours. I'll make sure to keep it off the, the no-fly list. <laughs> yes, please. Thank you. Yeah, but, uh, oh, yeah. I, I actually had a joke. I was wondering if you could probably give me a little tip on it or something. Let's hear it. All right, let's hear this thing. I, I wrote it for D Madness. I wanted to do it on Kill Tony. <laughs> okay. But it's basically about, like, uh, 
You think like like a, a chick with herpes? You think she has like a, uh, a phobia of hooking up with a blind guy because she's afraid that he's going to read it? And then it turns out that it's just the pol- uh, privacy policy. <laughs> Wait, if and she... it's not so secure anyway. <laughs> Wait, hold on. So if he, so he's blind, and what is she worried about that he's going to find out by like touching her face or something, or touching her downstairs area no, and feeling like, uh... sores? Yeah, like blind guys, they they like read with the with the braille, right? Where it's just like a little bumps on the paper. Mm-hmm. So I thought, like, you know, he's gonna try to read her pussy and then fucking. Be- <laughs> <clears throat> that thing's got bumps down there, and then yeah, he- yeah, that was a choppy joke. I'm still working on it. That's why I figured I'd ask. Yeah, my gosh, there's something there. There's something there. It kind of tickled our twines. Yeah, without a doubt, there was a tickle of the twines going on around here. Uh, All right, it's, it's a tickle of twine. I'll write that down. <laughs> yeah, tickle the twine. You can say that before you tell the joke. Just be like, yeah. "Hey guys, if you, I think I'm going to tickle y'all's twine with this next one." <laughs> and then that could set it up because they're like, "Oh, this guy's kind of silly." Yeah, what's he going to say next? And then it could, and then you, yeah, just figure, just figure. You can figure it out. Yeah, it's, oh, yeah, it's good to have a little setup kind of warn people before, it, like, say something like, y'all might want to keep your hands and arms inside the coaster while it's on the tracks. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. That's a good All one. arms and legs inside the vehicle, please. Uh-huh. Yep. Next one's a doozy. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Perfect. Yeah, yes. That's good. <laughs> All righty. Works for yeah, me. I figured I'd, I'd ask you about that because I wanted to write it for D Madness, and I know uh, if I make him laugh, that's all I give a fuck about. And <laughs> <laughs> nice. I've never even done Tinder before, but I, I really want to try it. We'll get that and get a couple more prepared, and you got that. And then, as long as he's not holding his ears, he'll probably he might laugh. I don't know. I can't speak for him. He probably. Gotcha. <laughs> you were you were saying that he that when he does read the braille on her vagina, that it's a privacy policy. Yeah, and it's not very secure. Oh, like her private parts, like her private. Uh, you parts. know, like whenever you just accept the terms and conditions, it says like privacy policy too. I just figured, you know, I thought it was kind of funny. Yeah, no. So it may be when he's doing the braille on her pussy, it says like I have herpes, be careful, or or something. But it's in the herpes bumps. I thought it would say like fuck the blind or something like that. <laughs> so that would be Jeez. even more scary <laughs> yeah, for him. Oh spooky. gosh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> got the tail and ran. <laughs> I hate blind. I hate the blind. Yeah. Yikes. <laughs> and I have herpes. <laughs> Oof. Yeah, Yikes. yeah, that one's a bad one. I don't know. I'm still working on it. We'll figure it out. Have you ever had an STD? Oh, an STD? No. No, I, I'm I'm kind of dry at the moment. <laughs> well, yeah, it's keep it whatever. Dry. Keep it dry, but be careful. Go to, uh, do you all, do you all ever go to Chili's? Uh, I went to this little bar out in our little hometown in Hemet. It's called Shooters. It's a shitty little bar, but yeah. So not chilly. So not maybe chilly, a little. Well, uh, we were telling the guy. <laughs> we were telling the guy before you. They're shutting down all the chilies. So if y'all do happen to live near chilies, you probably want to. Oh, that fuck. I know. I yeah. like their, their their chicken. Their chicken was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, good chicken at chilies. They have the good cheese dip. All kinds of stuff there. Great queso. Little hamburger bits in it. Yum. Ooh, God yeah. <laughs> I love queso with hamburger butts. Tasty. Yeah, Mr. Casey Rocket told me about this, and I need to try it. <laughs> For sure. you need yeah. to, I mean, it's delicious. Tell them Rocket sent you. Yeah. All right. They'll give you 20% they'll, they'll off. Exactly what it means. Yeah, they'll give off. you a, some sort of discount. Mm-hmm. Code WMS. Yeah. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Right. Uh, all right, Matthew. Well, very nice to talk to you. Keep working on the joke. It's great. It's going to make D Manus laugh. We're very confident. We're <laughs> confident it's going to make his ass laugh. All right, man. Thank you again. You guys have a good one. Bye, Matthew. Bye. Uh, Peace. Bye, Matthew. Grant, all I right. thought you promised you weren't going to get anybody on here who where there was somebody else in the room that were talking to the person. Did Wait, that come out? Total weird botched job. <laughs> yeah, was that, did that come out of my mouth? Botched? <laughs> no, Grant, yeah. Did I fuck something up? Chris was in the room, and it made this awkward energy. Yeah, I mean, you have to make sure nobody else is in the room when we're talking to these people. Okay, I'm sorry. Say, so spin your camera around, let me see the room. Yeah, ask to see their rooms and shit. <laughs> you don't like being ambushed. It's got to be a one-on-one. A one on two. Yeah, and if their room looks cool or something, do them closer to the top. But if they <laughs> if it doesn't look cool, you can just get them out. I'm gonna try <laughs> to Tabler Davids. See if this person Tabler. Tabler. Let Tabler me, Davids. Doctor McTabler. <laughs> <laughs> Let's 
hear from Tabler. 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 See your room and your dog's teeth. Hello. Yeah. Hello. Hello. You can hear me? Yeah. You're live. Hey, hey. Oh my What's gosh. Up, fellas? Tabler, be careful. Yeah. Oh my gosh. I know. Oh, this, is, <laughs> this is dangerous. Dad! Why did you guys tell me to do this? What did Grant say? We're already telling Grant if somebody else is in the room, it's not going to work. We try to tell him in a mo in a moving vehicle, it's not necessarily going to work. So Tabler, you have Tabler Davids, you have to be careful. <laughs> That's quite all right. I'm already at my destination anyway. Where are you going? Uh, I'm going to school. School at this hour? Yeah, I got a late class. What night class? Yeah, it's a nice late late evening class. What is it? It's a uh, calculus. Oh, oh, good luck with that. I could never do that. Yeah, thanks. It's not not that fun. Whoa, your eyes are gorgeous. Yeah, why do you have the sunglasses? Oh. I need to wear those. Thanks, guys. Look beautiful. Yeah, don't wear your sunglasses in class. You might could meet somebody tonight. Ooh, is there anybody you have kind of a crush on in your class? <laughs> yeah, I sit next to this like forty-five-year-old Filipino immigrant guy that looks pretty fresh. Oh, cool. <laughs> cool. That could be the start yeah. of something special. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Fingers crossed. You guys send me your prayers. We will. Mm -hmm. We totally will. Yeah, that would be also a good origin story for a relationship. Yeah, we met in calculus class. Uh, he didn't speak English. <laughs> yeah, I didn't speak <laughs> <laughs> Hey, I have, a, I, have a, I have a tattoo that William might like. Uh-oh, oh. let's see it. Take a it's, a, it's of your favorite comedian. John Stewart. Oh my gosh! Look at that Aphex Twin tattoo. Oh hell yeah! Yeah, John Stewart. John Stewart. <laughs> yeah, John Stewart tattoo. Yeah, right on your chest. <laughs> Just a big girl with John Stewart. <laughs> the Daily the, the Show. <laughs> <laughs> Check out my new Daily Show tattoo. <laughs> it was uh, either that or a Norm Macdonald portrait. <laughs> Cool. Well, that I think you went with the go. Would you just recently get it, or have you had it a while? I had it shortly before I saw him in New York. I got it a while ago. Cool. Cool. Um, yeah, for sure. I thought you'd get a kick out of that. Yeah, yeah. Huge Aphex Twin fan. Huge Aphex. Nice. Yeah. Do you like his new album that came out? Uh, which one are you talking about? Are you talking about the? Uh, Didn't some new thing just come out with four songs or something? The EP. Yeah, the EP. Do you yeah, like I'm it? digging it. Cool. Oh, the black box thing. Yes, yes, yes. Cool, yeah. Yeah, it's super creepy and weird. It's exactly what I want. <laughs> nice. Wait, so Tabler, we have to get back to your... How are your grades going? I mean, what are y'all... Are you just started? Uh, I just started, actually. The semester just started. What school? Uh, it's, uh, Connecticut college. CC the bison CC bison. C yeah. The CC bison. Yeah. <laughs> what was he on? Uh, what was that video game? Was CC bison on a video <laughs> game? <laughs> Street fighter. Street fighter. Video game character? Yeah. Bison. Oh. Yeah. M bison. That's cool. Yeah, the... he's, he's like our mascot. That's actually pretty cool. That I'm, is kind of cool. i never heard of a mascot being after a street fighters character. That's cool. Yeah, you guys, you guys should come play in some rural town in Connecticut sometime. It'd be wonderful. We gotta, yeah, we're gonna figure it out. We'd like that. Is there a VFW? Uh, yeah, there's a few. What? That could be it. If you could be our man inside in Connecticut for the VFWs there, we could, we could figure out some sort of system to get this thing going. Yeah, yeah if you guys come, they'll put you up. You know, they'll they'll do your dishes. But I'm not a veteran of foreign wars, though, so that's why I'm always a little kind of hesitant on a even asking. Yeah. yeah. We need a guy yeah, on the inside. It's, it's not you, extraordinarily likely that they'll let you in, but I could I could put in a good word. What branch were you in? Oh, I wasn't in it. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. No, no problem. <laughs> 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 oh my gosh. Well, did you have a good What time is it in Connecticut right now? Like 7:38 or what is it? 7:36. Oh, okay, okay. Hour ahead. Hour yeah, ahead. hour and guys, 3 minutes ahead. <laughs> that tracks. We're we're at 3:33, so I guess the uh 
the clock in here is a little wonky. Grant was a little wonky, looking a little wonky when we came in today. And what? he's probably messing with the... Are you chatting chatting with people still, Grant? He might have been using. No, I'm not chatting with anyone right now. I was looking for pictures of Grant Connecticut. Was using? Grant was using. Yeah. Uh, we he's think been he's using. I, I think, don't use during this. Is he looking up lobster roll photos? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, he wishes. Yeah, um, we blocked his search. We put parent search on the computer so we can see what he's searching. He can't see the lobster photos. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we put parent lock on it. He bombs All world. the claw photos are blurred out. <laughs> yep. Oh, yep. what the hell? <laughs> yeah. Oh, what the fuck? Look at the colors. Here's some foliage. Oh my! Is that the first thing that comes up when you look up Connecticut? <laughs> it's one of the first ones, yeah. Connecticut oh, foliage. Thought, what are the others? <laughs> Just a lot of leaves and then uh, lighthouses, I guess. Wait, yeah, we got a few of those. Wait, so Tabler, what's the temperature there? It's horribly hot here. Uh, I think we're looking at about 76-ish at the moment. Woo! Woo. That's we're, a nice cool fall day. Yeah, y'all are like 30 degrees cooler than here. I think it's 106 <laughs> here today. Good Christ almighty. Are you guys actually looking at triple digits? Oh, yes. Luckily, next week, I think it's getting into the low 90s, which will be a wonderful respite from this mm-hmm. heat. A welcome relief. A welcomed relief. I mean, I just hunkered down is, in the is apartment Is there such all a day. thing as fall in Texas? Is that a thing? Yeah, probably for a little. I mean, it gets cool in a little. I don't know when it's going to happen. I haven't lived here long enough. I don't know when it gets cooler yeah. it used to be september but now we're september and it's still hot and then we now we don't nobody f- knows if it's ever getting cooler and yeah it's, it's all up in the air yeah i mean it's autumn time we're getting close to october which is halloween time and you're telling me it's 106 here today i mean it's tabler i'm i'm just locked in my apartment pretty much all day long yeah i'm not does, kidding does the, like Does the insane heat, like, kind of reduce your options for Halloween costumes? Like, in the sense that, like, if it's triple digits on Halloween, you can't be, like, decked out in, like, full garb or something. Not at all. You can't be a spider. Yeah. Or, like, a knight or an Iron Man. Yeah, Iron Man's or knights are bad. Off the table. Spiders off the table. Dragons off the table. Mm -hmm. Even a ghost. Yeah, even a ghost is off the table. Yeah, unless you had some really breathable linen or something like that with a high thread count. Yeah, if you had maybe Egyptian cotton, you could maybe work with Egyptian (laughs) cotton. Um, But just regular cotton. cotton. Yeah, yeah, Egyptian cotton, high thread count. Yeah, something along those lines. Yeah. Look at all these lobsters. I thought you guys turned the safety thing off or whatever. Grant, have you been using chat GBT to circumvent the parent block? <sighs> Apparently illustrations are fine. He's been drawing them. <laughs> he's been drawing them. <laughs> he, is. he drew all these in that brief period of time? Yeah, he's a savant. He's very imaginative. <laughs> he's a savant. <laughs> <laughs> I'm impressed. He drew them all from memory. Unbelievable. Yeah, they all look exactly memory. the same, too. That's very consistent. It's <laughs> real. Andy Warhol. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible. Did Andy... like, aren't they just long crabs? <laughs> Pretty much. Kinda. That's, yeah. yeah. I don't know. Are they? Yeah, you could say that. In some ways. They're like, they're like a, a growth rate hit a, hit a crawfish, you know? Got really big, got really long and mm-hmm. shelled. Ooh, shelled yeah. got long. Uh, they're tasty, man. I'll tell you. Yeah, I enjoy some lobster every now and again. Chili's has a good one. Do you live in near Chili's? They're actually shutting. We've been telling everybody they're shutting down all the Chili's. So get, get them here to run. Get your Chili's. So, runs actually, in. I went to the Chili's two days ago. Ooh, what'd you yeah. get? I got this weird, uh, like southwestern burger with like avocado on it and stuff. Daisy, is it good? And and the mark of the month. Whoa! What was the mark of the month? Peach cobbler. <laughs> I wish, honestly, that'd be very fall <laughs> oriented. It was like it was honestly not very seasonal. It was like just a regular margarita with like grenadine and like pineapple or something like that. Oh well, that's why Chili's is having to shut down all their <laughs> restaurants. It's decisions yeah, like that. Step up the mark. <laughs> yeah, the people at the top are out of touch now. So. Yeah, they've gone stagnant. They need a new class. They need somebody like you who's who's willing to date a old Filipino man. I know. I mean, they're looking <laughs> for your demographic. Chili's needs to keep on keep on going for that. I mean, we'll yeah. see. I mean, again, they're shutting down a thousand stores that were worried about the guys at the top. What what's gonna happen with the shareholders? I mean, if they maybe if have they you have. been in touch with them? Um 
Well, shit, I used to when I lived in Memphis, but ever since I've been here in Texas, I haven't been yeah. able to get a hold anymore. Radio silence. Yeah, radio silence on it's, their it's part. Just leaving you on red now? Yeah. Pretty much. We've been reaching out. Yeah, trust well, me. Weird. It sounds like you guys have some good ideas to reinvigorate them, honestly. Yeah, well, we'll see if they ever want to talk. If they do, we're ready. If the Chili's people happen to be watching this right now, we're ready to talk. Yeah. I trust you guys with, with you guys at the helm for Chili's, you know? Thank you. Yeah, I'll sign anything they want right now as long as I can help kind of the business that made me who I am. For sure. <laughs> I mean, even though, but we'd have to read it at least a little bit. I mean, <laughs> we'd have to be careful skim before we sign anything. At least skim, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Take a brief look at it. Yeah, it would be best. But I don't anyway. want you to hand you a phone book and just yeah. go, you know, all right, just sign at the dotted line on page 106. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like, what? We have what? to read all these names and numbers. <laughs> yeah, <that's laughs> <all these fun. laughs> How is this? What am I even agreeing to? <laughs> yeah, I don't understand. Do you want chilies or not? <laughs> and that's when they pressure you. They use those Gestapo tactics to get you to sign. Yep. Oof. Yep. That's what a happens. Lot of pressure. Yeah, it's pressure I don't need right now. But all right, Tabler. Well, very nice to talk to you. Good Godspeed in uh your class today. What are y'all learning Thanks, about? Guys, I appreciate it. What's the biggest number y'all um, are looking at? What are we we're looking at some big numbers? I think the other day we calculated like three thousand. <laughs> what the fuck? What? Into the thousands? <laughs> yeah, I know. Could okay. you imagine? Yeah, I know. <laughs> we're really jumping ahead here. Damn. CCU. CCU. Yeah, well, I hope I hope you guys maybe perform in New York sometimes. You know, I'd love to see you guys out on the East Coast or something. Cool. Yeah, for sure. Love to. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. I mean, I'm I'm not going to speak for Casey, but I at least I think I'm stopping soon. So yeah, Williams come. He's I've ready come. Close yeah, I'm ready to screech to a halt. So we'll see. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe just screech to a halt, but I'll come out there. Yeah, Casey will probably I appreciate it. I'll, I'll treat you. I'll treat you to a tall mark of the month. Please do. Will do. All right, Tabler. Bye. All right, take care, guys. Bye, See Tabler. You. He was that, funny. Yeah, that was fun. He was in his him. car. Yeah, yeah. I was kind of worried at first. I was like, maybe don't do that. God, it's good he wasn't speeding like into a group of people or like off a cliff. <laughs> Why do we wouldn't need that? Don't say anything. Just listen. Yeah. Oh no. <laughs> Football's back. Are you recording? Yeah. <laughs> Football's back. Nothing like the touch of the pig skin on your cool skin on a nice fall day. There is nothing better and Florida lost and the coach isn't looking good, and I went to watch some watch it at some bar across from the club last Thursday, and some guy was talking a whole bunch of shit about Florida, and then I was looking at Erica because she came, and I was like, we have to get out of here. Yeah. And Am I going to have to swing on this Joker or Buster? Yes, I was thinking that. So watch football, have fun, just be careful where you are because it does cause fights. Yeah, you might get swung on. You might, you might, if you want to talk it up, you might get knocked the hell up. Yeah, so be careful if you if you are talking it up. Make sure you can back it up. Yeah, and if you don't back it up, get ready to back it down because we're going to put you on the ground. Yeah, you're going to have to back down from it if you're not even prepared. So, but that just was what happened with sports, but not necessarily sports betting. No, sports betting can actually be pretty interesting and add a little bit of excitement to your fall with DraftKings, an official sports betting partner of the NFL. Yeah, I mean, new customers can get five can bet five dollars on football and get two hundred dollars instantly in bonus bets. That's starting to make me think that there might be an opportunity for you to take advantage of two new offers every single game this September. Yeah, I mean, get in on the NFL Week 2 action with DraftKings Sportsbook. Download the app now and use, use code WMS to sign up Week 2. Woo! Download the app. New customers? Come on, man. Only on DraftKings Sportsbooks with code WMS. The crown is yours. But if you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER or visit www.1800gambler.net. Living in New York? Not a problem. Got a gambling problem? Call 1-877-8-HOPE-NY or text HOPE-NY. That's 467-369.
in and if you're in Connecticut and you're like a bad gambler, help is available for gambling. Call 888-789-7777 or visit ccpg.org. On behalf of Boot Hill Casino and Resort Kansas 21 and plus, age varies by jurisdiction void in Ontario. Yeah. See sportsbook.draftkings.com slash football terms for eligibility terms and responsible gaming resources. Bonus bets expire seven days after issuance. Eligibility and deposit restrictions apply with DraftKings. With DraftKings, use code WMS. Thank you. Thank you. You have to play responsibly. That's like the one bit yeah. of advice. I mean, you have to play responsibly. Yeah, wake up in the morning, look in the mirror, write in the mirror in lipstick. Am I writing, am I playing responsibly? If the answer is yes, Keep going. <laughs> oh my gosh, Casey, I read this thing about, it was like the worst car crash ever in history. It was like in New York State, and uh -huh. these people were in this homemade limousine excursion. <laughs> excursion limo, and 20 people died. Oh my God. The brakes went out because it wasn't like they didn't, it was it was like some rinky-dink company, and the <laughs> brakes went out, and they ended up going 120 miles an hour. Oh shit, it was like one of those things where the you can't hit the brakes. Oh, that's right. Crazy. It didn't work. Oh, and no. nobody had their seatbelts on, and it crashed into a car that flew off and killed two people just standing by, it, and then everybody died on the thing because oh it hit God. something at like so fast. I'm so crazy. Whenever I hear those stories, I always picture in my mind like I could just jump out. You know, like I would be able oh, right. to time it right where I could jump in the grass. For sure, for sure. Oh my gosh, how's it going? Lighten up, Michelle Obama. Michelle, what's up? <laughs> Smoking up, lazy. Well, I just wanted to check in and see how you guys felt about all the changes I made to those lunch programs. <laughs> uh, I don't know if I want to get into the lunch programs right I, now. We can I, skip that. Yeah. How, how you guys doing today? We're I'm trying to get this camera to be on this other fucking screen. <laughs> Michelle, you look yeah. gorgeous, baby. Yeah, Michelle, you're gorgeous looking today. Thank you. Likewise, both of you boys are looking as handsome as always. Oh my gosh. Wow. Thank you. Thanks. Stop. <laughs> hey, I'm okay. gonna try something. I hope this doesn't fuck it up, all right? I'm trying to move the camera. Is that your foot okay. or your hand? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, you move it with your foot? <laughs> Don't put your foot on it. <laughs> Nasty. <laughs> Nasty. Oh, he's gone. Uh oh. Michelle. Michelle. What have you done? You had a perfect setup going. Yeah. He flew too he close just, to the sun. Yeah, he lit up, and then he messed with his camera. <laughs> Something happened. <laughs> he took one hit of that fucking skunk weed. He's back. Oh, he's back. The boys are back. We're back. Oh, you got it. It looked, Yeah, it's a different perspective. POV. Different POV. Is your audio on? <laughs> I think so. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we don't hear. Michelle. 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 We can't hear you. you. Can hear me. Okay, oh, we, can hear we can hear you. Okay. Sorry for the technical difficulties. Very unprofessional. <laughs> oh, it's all good. What are you smoking on? I'm smoking a spliff with some organic American spirit that keeps your dick hard. Ooh, <laughs> cool. Some that Cialis nug. Ooh. Yeah, dog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, well, William, William, can I ask you about something? Sure. Yes. And I hope that you don't kick me off this call for this. Did you get that $500 I sent you on Venmo for that carnivore comedy ad? You never confirmed that you received my payment, my friend. Oh, yes, yes. No, thank you so much. I'm yeah. sorry. I can be horrible okay. about uh, Good. responding I on the shit. I thought it. I just wanted to make sure it was a real you and, you know, your account didn't get hacked. And yeah, no, you thank you. Me and Casey needed a search party or... <laughs> Thank you oh, so works. much. Do I need to kick what, what, uh, Michelle off? No, no. We'll no, no, keep no. him around for a little bit. Yeah, see how this goes. <laughs> he's having fun. <laughs> so, how are you doing? How's your comedy stuff, dude? It's it's going well. I had the the third installment of Carnivore Comedy last night uh, with a great group of people. Cool. Um, so that that series is going well. I would love nothing more than to uh, see what it costs to get you guys out into Bloomington, Indiana at one point in a couple months, but we can talk offline about that. Yeah, and we can uh, talk. Everything goes through. through Grant, so we could, yeah. we could <laughs> well, figure it out. Email. What the fuck is Grant? 
Grant's our produ- he's our sweet producer he's in number here. One producer. He's Hi, Grant. Producer. If you're in the room, I'm I'm very fond of your work. Keep doing what you're doing, Grant. He's Thank four you. rooms away at all times. Yeah, he's four rooms away. We're in this very <laughs> labyrinthine <laughs> building. <laughs> uh cool. Well, how's your day going? So you're smoking now. That sounds good. Did you eat something yummy earlier? Or what's going on in Bloomington, Indiana? Uh, I, well, I woke up about two o'clock. Me and my girlfriend went to get some groceries, made us a little uh egg sandwich and then i saw the instagram post that uh you gentlemen were doing this so i kicked her out so i could hop on this call <laughs> good well thank, thank you. you one person per room yeah if we see more than yeah. one person we get a little nervous we might jump off the call yeah somebody earlier yeah, I, called he was real nice but he had a buddy in there and just the energy was off it was yeah energy was totally off i'm sorry to hear that there's nothing that pisses me off more than bad energy yeah busters being clowns yeah, Buster's yeah. being clowns. Oh my gosh, hold on. You changed perspective again. You moved it a, a oh, little. No. I just oh, suggested. I just yeah, I'm not going anywhere. Oh my gosh, yeah. I thought you were slowly getting off the right side of the screen. I didn't know. <laughs> Wait, so what was y'all's favorite thing you got at the grocery store today? What was like your prized possession? What was the best? Bro, I hit up Fresh Time and I hit up Sam's Club. Whoa. I got some more Sam Kelly. I'm a big sparkling water dude. Uh, got a. Cool. Got some smoked salmon for them, uh, you know, the breakfast sandwiches. You trying to eat Yum. clean? You eating clean? You had an egg uh, sandwich? I, I, I try to start my day with eggs. I'm not as clean as uh, I used to, but um, clean enough. Well, it looks like you're still pretty buff, so something must be working. Looking good. It's, it's the drugs. Stop. <laughs> stop. No, it's not. You're kidding. Keep you frail. I'm kidding. I don't do those. I have a nice garage gym. And uh, some mats here. It's like Joe Rogan light. Cool. <laughs> that sounds good. Yeah, you got to keep moving. I stopped working out three months ago, and I haven't looked back. But I have. I need are to start look- doing it again. Are, are you looking for a trainer? I have my same kind of thing I do every time. I just need to get back in there. And how come? You want to train me? I, I, mean, I would love to. You could send me emails with workouts? Yeah, and, and demonstration videos. Or we'll get you out here to the gym. Tank training, you could be Tank Training's first uh, comic, uh, comic on the fight team. Cool. Yeah. yeah, I've been thinking about getting into fighting, so this could be my way in. It's a, it's it's probably, um, yeah. I mean, I think it'd be a great opportunity for you. What? Uh, what's the offer extended to you? Also, what's the worst you've ever beaten somebody up? Um. That's a good question. Uh, it, I guess it depends on your perspective. Because there have been like, hum- I, I was a bouncer for several years at a, a, a big music venue here in, in Bloomington. So I had my fair share of incidents, you know, when I was bouncing at that club. And then I bartended for several years. Um, you ever beat the ever, shit out of anybody? Ever crack a skull? Yeah, ever crack skulls? I actually did. One of my... <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> well, I... I uh, see, this is going to be a rough one. I did drag somebody out of a bar by their hair, like, and the floor was wet, so I was like dragging them in between like the tables and the booze on the way out. What did you do? And then, and I'll tell you. And then I took. So when people wouldn't leave the bar back in the day, I would always like they wouldn't leave. I'd take them out. They would just stay there bothering the door guys. I would just take one of their shoes and throw it as far as I could, so they would like have to go chase after it. You grab their foot and take their shoe off and throw it. Yeah. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. And, what like, did? What did Casey ask you? Incident. Why did you Sorry. drag that girl out? Yeah, why did you drag the girl out? Because she was being a bitch. She was talking about William Spears. She said he wasn't funny. No. And I wouldn't tolerate <laughs> I would have drug her out, too. If she's talking about my Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah. hey yeah. William, let me, you'll, you'll actually enjoy this, William. Huh. So I've been, I mean, I've been a fan of, of, of yours for years now. And when I was introduced to Kill Tony or whatever, like in your early years, when I used to bartend, I would do impressions of your early stuff that nobody got. And people just thought I was, it was a crazy asshole. Like anybody, you know, packed bar, who the fuck said that? And everybody's looking at me like I'm a dick. That's which funny. As you're but, dragging uh, somebody out by the <laughs> hair. I can't believe nobody <laughs> recognized it. They just fucking, just so uncultured, you know? Yeah, that's their problem. Um, I, that's what I told them. It's hard to get an impression when you're dragging a woman out by her hair. It's hard to be like, is you doing William McCormick? It was a man with yeah. long hair. It was a man with long hair. Oh, uh, okay. We probably deserved it. That's funny. Yeah, for a second, I thought, yeah, there's no way it could actually be a girl. Yeah. 
<laughs> she was a big girl, dude. She was like six one. She played volleyball. Okay, she was asking for yeah, it. She, yeah, she's probably asking. Anything for over it. six foot's fair game. Yes. I, my grandma used to say that all the time. <laughs> was she over six foot? No, but that's why she had, was prejudiced to to taller women. Uh, Very jealous. Very jealous. Yeah. How tall was your grandmother? Oh, three and a half feet. Whoa. Oh, short. <laughs> one of those tiny I, ones. No, I, I don't know. She's probably like normal. Three and a half feet. I'm gonna say I'm gonna say five four, but I'm just pulling that out of my the greatest generation. Yeah, Yeah, hundred years ago, it wasn't that was pretty big. Yeah, I think people only started getting bigger after drinking the milk and Mm -hmm. sixty eight, sixty nine. Yeah, people started getting taller. I think that's the problem with people today is that they're on all that fake milk bullshit, not getting their calcium, weak bones. Yeah, you need calcium. What are you two percent, one percent, skim whole? The whole the whole thing, or get the fuck out of here. This is a red top, right? Yeah. Red top. Yeah. Red top. Oh, you're <laughs> popping red tops, baby. Yeah. <laughs> you're popping tops. You know, red cap or blue cap. Uh, that's fun. Well, I hope your uh, day goes well. Um, thank you so much for calling it. I'm sorry I didn't respond. Thank you for saying oh, I no. totally appreciate it. Sorry I didn't respond. I just wanted respond. to make sure it came through, my friend. It totally did. I totally appreciate okay. you. Thank okay, you. I appreciate you. It seems like we're wrapping this up, but it's, it's been great talking to you both. Yeah, uh, good to talk to you, William. If you're, if either you're feeling it, I might shoot you a note just asking for Grant's info because I am serious about that. Thank you for having me on the call. Cool, uh, I really appreciate you guys. Sounds Enjoy good, man. Day. You See can ya. you can message me on Instagram. I'll we'll try to come to Indiana. Okay, I would love that, man. I'll hit <laughs> you up. Okay, cool. All right, thanks, guys. Thanks, thanks William. See you, dude. Yeah, appreciate you guys. Bye. Bye. Another funny guy. Yeah, funny. Gosh, I was wor- I was like, what have I done to some? I was thinking, <laughs> what's he about to even? <laughs> yeah, it started off pretty strong, and I was like, oh, he might be a little bit of a of a wild, wild man. Yeah, I mean, Michelle Obama. Talk about the lunch program. Lunch as soon as program. I heard that, I go, I had my finger over the button. I go, did I <laughs> yeah. damn press this guy off? Or... Spooky. Turned out okay. Nice body. Yeah, very nice body. Very nice body. Very he can funny. like takes takes care of himself. Yeah, good to look at. He can stay on the call as long as he wants. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> the floor is his. All right, I'm trying to bring in our next guest. This is David Sittler. You know, the lead singer of Smash Mouth drank himself to death. Yes. Yeah. Apparently. Yeah. I saw some article about he was in hospice care like yeah. two days ago, and then he died the next yeah. day. He died right after. I had no time to process any of it. I wonder what happened. I think he was just sad drinking so much, or I wonder what happened. You have to, man, you have to be, you know, of course, every body is different, like every human yeah. body, but you have to drink so much to make your liver fail. Like, it's so yeah. weird picturing him. I think I've talked about this, too, like people who have uh, drug and alcohol problems who are artists, but their art is kind of really silly. It's funny to picture him being such an alcoholic, but he's singing Smash Mouth songs, yeah. and he's just... <laughs> Completely blackout drug. Yeah. The Hey Now You're an All Star, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> Chugging vodka and singing Walking on the Sun. Yeah, so Walking funny. on the Sun was a good one. Might as well be walking on the I think his kid uh, died. I think we got our next guest. Yes, he lost his son. That Yeah, that probably drove some of it, I would imagine. Oh, God. Super sad. But he's in heaven now. Yeah. That's good. He's a believer. He was a believer. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you got shit. my last name on there. Steven. Steven. What's up? Steven, have I mailed you a package? We we I just saw you like two weeks ago in Bisbee. Yes. Oh yeah. What's yeah. up, man? Steven came. I got a oh, you oh, brought nice. me the picture. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I brought you a painting, yeah. Yeah, the painting. He brought me this wonderful painting, William. That's wonderful. And you ended up with the picture, it looks like. Yeah, yeah. And, sh- and I got a shirt, That's too. That's wonderful. Yeah. He was at a show. There was not that many people there. So I just kind of riffing at Steven. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Pretty yeah. much. Well, how, yeah. are you, how are you doing today, Steven? Uh, I, I want to go back to bed. Um, I'm going to go to bed, actually, in just a few minutes here. It's too late in I, the day, I, Steve. I got a lunch break in, in about four minutes, so... I'm just, I'm just working. What time is it in Arizona right now? It's almost two. Yeah, you better hit the hay. Two hours behind, because y'all don't have daylight savings time, do you? 
no, we don't we don't do that. Oh, that's strange. Very strange. I wish the whole country did that. I hate it when it's about to start getting dark here at five PM. God kill me now. God Well, I I work in uh I, I work from home and I I work with people in different time zones, so it gets a little confusing too. We it was it was actually it was a it was a big debacle one time trying to clear it up with daylight savings time. So yeah. I don't do, I don't I don't who cares? It's bullshit. Tell I, us the truth. Yeah, I think it's all because of big corn. The big corn people. <laughs> the I think, big corn. Yeah. yeah. I, I think they don't like it when the sun starts setting whenever it's supposed to. I don't know what their I don't know what their prov- provocative <laughs> prerogative <laughs> is. Why was I trying to say prerogative? <laughs> what was I trying to say, Steve? Provocative. Pr- prerogative. Yeah, prerogative, but they are provocative too. So provocative. Those and, uh, <laughs> we, so William, I I saw you at Stand Up Live on on four twenty. Oh, did you? Yeah, with David. Yeah. So I I went with a with a friend of mine, and they sat us next to two old couples, like old, like pr- like geriatric, <laughs> like with with the um like the tennis balls on the bottom of their little canes and stuff. Yep. Like. <laughs> And and you you were in the middle of your set and you you yelled right directly at this woman sitting next to me because she wasn't laughing at you. you yeah, were like, they were throwing me off at first. I was like, <laughs> okay, I think I do have some fans that are older people, and then they're not laughing. I'm like, oh, they were confused of why they even showed up. It fucking they, threw me off. They 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 were talking to us earlier in the night, and they were like, we've never seen this place so packed on a on a it was like a tuesday night or a wednesday night they're like do you know these comedians and we were like yeah and we were we i kept looking at my friend like i don't know if these people know what's about to happen (laughs) but 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 they they left like right at the beginning of david lucas's set because he said something about he he said something about an abortion or something like that so that's funny well they need to be careful well that was sweet i guess they just showed up just got their tickets and showed up and I remember they weren't laughing for me, and then that makes me just want to walk off the stage, even though there are other people having fun. If there's just one person not liking, I just want to get off the stage, so luckily I didn't. But yeah, I mean, it horribly threw me off. I'm glad they left. Well, we we should have you and Bisbee next. Yeah, well, I'd love to. I'm going to try to start doing longer sets now. I've been very scared of it. It's been impossible in my brain, but I'm going to try to. I, I don't know if you need to do a long set in Bisbee, though. Yeah, they're good with 20 minutes. It was Pirate Weekend. You got to go at the <laughs> beginning of August. They do Pirate Weekend. It was, a, it was a sight to see. That sounds fun. There's no food in the whole town. They have one bar that sells sausage. <laughs> I got a sausage. Well, that was, that was the other thing. So I, I recently quit drinking, and I figured that they would at least have like a Diet Coke Not at Chuckleheads. Not a chance. And I was like, I was like, do you do you have water? And they're like, yeah, we have water. We're not, we're not yeah. like cr- crazy. But they didn't, they didn't even have a like a non-alcoholic beer. Or nothing felt <laughs> felt weird. That's very weird. Yeah, I need my soda water constantly. I'm constantly downing soda water since I yeah. stopped drinking. I have to, I have to be drink something. Got to get a little. What's fizz. that one? This What's is, that one right? There? This is pretty good. This is a good and gather. The company Good and Gather, I think they're the people that have bought out Chili's. We've been telling mm-hmm. everybody their Chili's is closing out a thousand stores. So if you live near a Chili's, try to go there within the next couple months. They uh, did a pump and dump. It's where you buy all the stock and you try to do a big short, but they fucked it up. And and Chili's is kind of in their own Great Depression right now. Yeah, I mean the stockholders, they're all left holding all these assets. They used to be liquid. They're not liquid anymore. I mean, they're having to shut it to, to gain liquidity again. They're having to shut down like a thousand chilies. So. Yeah. They're shuttering a lot of locations and trying to find ghost kitchens, but there's not enough real estate that's scalable. And they don't even understand what a ghost kitchen is, is the funniest mm-hmm. fucking part. I don't know who's running that place, but they think it's literally we have to find a kitchen that somebody has died in. And it's like that's not <laughs> a ghost kitchen. <laughs> Why can't it be AI? Ran by AI. It's too volatile. It's yeah, I mean that's a volatile that's a volatile space. 
Okay. That quadrant. Actually, Q3 was... Grant, can you pull up Q3? Yeah, what did Q3 look like again, Grant? Just give me a second. Okay, thank you. <laughs> yeah, it was super volatile with the AI in Q3. Um, yeah, now it's looking like there might be some undercutting in the in the sort of round table of the CEOs. And once undercutting starts, that's when they start undercutting the margaritas. They start undercutting everything at the chilies. So start watering down the alcohol. Yep. Nobody wants that. I want that. I mean, I don't want any alcohol. And neither do you, Stephen, you, okay? Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah, neither. Oh, oh there's yeah. Q3. Yeah, take a look at that, Stephen. Yeah, that was pretty bad. That was pretty bad. I think bad. The, the last thing on earth I need is this spooky margarita that's watered down. <laughs> made by a damn ghost. Yeah, I just, literally made by got, a poltergeist or something. Oh, nice. I just, oh, I just yeah. got the Diet Coke right now. Ooh, that sounds good. Down What's, the hatch. Wait, so yeah. what are you doing on your computer? What's your job you do? Uh, it, it it's it's funny. Uh, Tell us the truth. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> are you a cam girl? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I am a cam girl. No, uh, I I I work for a company that uh, we're partnered with with USPS and UPS. Dark web. It's, uh, yeah, yeah, it's dark. It's dark just, web. it's dark web. It's not very interesting, uh, but I enjoy it. I like it. Cool. I have I have fun coworkers. Cool. Talk shit. Yeah. It's all on the laptop. I have three screens in front of me right now, mm -hmm. so you could probably see all the quarters on that. I. All four, yeah. Only fans. I knew it. You're what? twerking that thing for coins, man. Woo! Give yeah. us your best yeah. kissy face. Do you have a good kissy face? Me. Woo! Okay. <laughs> coin, 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 coin. Yeah, coin. <laughs> <laughs> coin, 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 coin. <laughs> Very cool. good. Well, oh, man. well, Steven, it's wonderful to talk to you. Eat something good when you get off of work. I, I will. I probably will. What are you going to have? What's on the menu? I don't know, but we, we had a birthday party over here yesterday, so there's some cheesecake in the fridge. Oh, Ooh. okay. Not a bad idea. How old did the uh, person I, turn? I, oof, shit. Uh, I don't know. Is she some old hag or <laughs> <Yeah>. something? <laughs> she <laughs> older no, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 it's my younger sister, but she's, oh. she's, she's technically my cousin. She's what the not fuck? Yeah, it's a little weird. Uh, I, pr I probably shouldn't be talking about it. <laughs> oh, it's fine. <laughs> it's, a, it's a little, it's a little creepy. But uh, yeah. oh god, <laughs> what kind of family dynamic? We need to understand now. I don't understand. How is she, your cousin and your baby sister? Her her uncle is. Uh, I'm sorry, my uncle's her dad, but her her. So your dad's her, brother, or mom's brother, but her brother's your mom. My mom's brother, yeah, yeah, yeah. So your mom's uh, brother is her father. Yeah. So what is that? She, so it's her cousin. So she, 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 we, we didn't know, we didn't really know she was a, a person. We, we learned like ten years ago, and then her, her dad is gone somewhere else. So my parents just adopted her. They, okay. they wanted to help, well, that's help her go to go to college and stuff you know cool well be so, careful i was actually watching stealing harvard yesterday with tom green don't promise her you're gonna pay for her college because she might get it on camera and you're gonna have to pay for her to go to harvard yeah well she's getting a doctorate so i i, I think she's okay oh nice well that's wonderful yeah make that's sure great. it's yeah, she, not a some sort of accepted situation, like what happened with Justin Long and Jonah Hill. Yes, make sure it's an actual place. Come make sure it's an you. actual do, college. Do you do you guys worry about Jonah Hill? I feel like I'm worried about him. He's spiraling. <laughs> He's really skinny. <laughs> yeah, he lost a bunch of weight. I was going to say, didn't he lose a bunch of weight? Well, I don't. Just like in my heart, I feel like there's there's something going on with him. You can just, just feel like, it. <laughs> that sums up. Yeah, right. yeah, yeah. He it's was like when, accepted, when, when, wasn't he? Yeah. Ask me about my wiener, Jonah Hill. He dresses a hot dog, very famous, and he screams really high pitch, doesn't he? <laughs> he has some <laughs> stupid high pitch scream. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> Will, can, can, can you give a, a high pitched scream? Ah. <laughs> I don't want to do it any yeah. higher because it'll hurt my throat. Yeah. Did that wet your whistle enough? Yeah, was Steven? that okay though? No. Look at the okay. puppeteer pulling a little marionette yeah, around. Yeah, made a scream louder. Grant, Grant, it bothers Grant when I scream in here, Stephen. Okay. Yeah, please don't it scream. Pro- it would probably bother me too. Coin, 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 coin. Yeah, coin, give coin, him coin. some more coins. <laughs> You're gone. Coin, 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 coin. Cool. Well, Stephen, wonderful to talk with you today. Thank you for calling in. I'll see you later. Good Have to a good see night, you, Stephen. Have a good night. Bye. Good to see you. Bye. Bye. Here's Jonah Hill as a hot dog. <laughs> yeah, that locked and loaded. And what does he look like now? He looks different, doesn't he? Do a side by side between hot dog Jonah and tattooed sad boy abusive Jonah. Yeah, what, weren't there like text messages that came out with a girlfriend or something? Yeah, saying something like weird stuff. Yeah, he was like being super controlling or something. Yeah. Yeah. I pray to God message. my text messages never come out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, kidding. I'm kidding. Mine's all just freestyle rap. <laughs> yeah. so if mine getting leaked. It's like John Benet Ramsey. <laughs> Unforgivable. Yeah, it's just a yeah. lot of like freestyle shit I send my boys. There he is. Hmm. I think he, he just got different. out of prison. Yeah, he seems different. He's a lot more tan. <laughs> it looks yeah, it looks like a completely different human being. God. Let's see if I can uh, get that a little more side by side for you. Cool, that's perfect. There you go. Perfect. <laughs> yeah, nailed it. Tattoo. I nailed it, right? <laughs> God, he's struggling. Yeah, prayers up, Jenny. Yeah, prayers up for Jonah Hill. For All sure. All right. Let's, Let's uh, uh, one more. Two more. You guys want uh, John Stamos? Yeah. Yeah. Only if it's a John real Stamos. I mean, you can cross your fingers. Maybe it's really him. I'm in a graveyard. John. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Grant. I kind of don't remember why I picked a graveyard picture. Just I think because I was looking at ghosts and there was like another spooky photo there. The ghost kitchens. <laughs> ghost kitchen. <laughs> Hear me out. We got <laughs> this is gonna sound crazy. This is like the wonderful Nathan picture. for you with the stupid ghost <laughs> realtor. <laughs> yeah, God. Yeah. God. <laughs> that was so funny. So funny. All right, now we're going to try Michael Carrier. So you're Stamos about to say Michael there. Keaton. Sta- Stamos wasn't there? <laughs> like, what are all these people? Stamos wasn't there? No. Nah. Brutal. Yeah, that is kind of brutal. That would have been cool to talk to. That would have been nice. Stamos. Talk shop. <laughs> See what's going on. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. This one's not working either. <sighs> Get your act together, guys. Oof. Are people? Are you nice to people in the chat still? I'm not. I wasn't really talking to them, so maybe that's why. Make them beg for it. Yeah, that's why they're not. What do people say? Flying here. Just hello. 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 <laughs> they are. <Whoa. laughs> What's From up, beyond baby? The gray. Whoa. <laughs> Tell us your name. My name is Chris Duke. Chris Duke. Oh my gosh, Chris, what's up? How are you? Evening. I was going to say, I don't know if you remember me, young William. <sighs> don't uh, put me on But the my spot wife like and this. I had you on our podcast. We we flew out to LA and. Um, Is that at a hotel? Yeah. Yes. I remember right on uh, Sunset or right, right over by the comedy store, kind of. Yeah, we were right across the street. Oh my gosh. I have a, I have a clip. Okay, pull it up. I don't. I mean, probably not going to be able to see it very well. <laughs> Sorry, here's that's a picture. A scary. Of that's a hundred percent what I look like. Scared yet? <laughs> <laughs> We've been but, watching. Uh, Chris. Just the audio here. What is it? Have you ever seen The Master? It's on Netflix. Have you ever seen that with uh, Joaquin Phoenix and, and Jim Gaffigan? Yeah, Jim. Gaffigan. <laughs> Isn't that the guy that? And what's his name? Who died of heroin? <laughs> Yeah, Jim Gaffigan. Jim Gaffigan. Is that really about Scientology? Yeah. So that's just a little taste. Just a little, little taste. taste. That was just a little taste. <laughs> we, the uh, master. We, <laughs> what a random clip. We, we workshopped uh, Kangaroo Jack 2 overboard. That is right. There was a Kangaroo Jack thing. God, how many years ago was that? What is that, four years ago or something? Yeah, I, already- I was going to say three or four years ago. I remember. That was fun. That was in... 
Los Angeles. So how have you been doing since then? It seems like you are in a, you have the most professional looking, all the setups have been fun. There was a guy in a car earlier, but you have the most professional looking setup today. What's yeah, going on? fucking around. Whoa. Okay. Whoa. We get it. All right, man. <laughs> yeah. Jesus Christ. <laughs> it, it, you knew about Chili's, right? That they're shutting them all down? They're going liquid, Chris. What? Yeah, okay, Q3 well, was so bad. I don't know where I'm going to flip my Hyundai Elantras anymore. Yeah, yeah. Well, it can't be in a Chili's parking lot because they're going to have them all blocked off. I think that's part of the deal they made with the investors is nobody's going to be allowed to use the buildings. They're going to rope them off for about six months, see what the marketplace is looking like, then they're going to do a big relaunch. Yes, which actually could be genius. Yeah, it might actually raise their stock a little bit. Yeah, nobody's ever done it before, but... Chili's Maybe might- they, they should rebrand and, like, you know, uh, do a... a combination of the uh, the country chile with chile that could be kind of Ooh, a chile chilies some sort of like brand recognition like yeah and they can Ooh. serve chile chiles <laughs> that kind of sounds similar they can have uh an earthquake special <sighs> what because all the earthquakes going on down there right now Sheesh. some earthquakes going on in, in chile i know it's the what plates Pla- some with plates, yeah, it's going on plates. Yeah, yeah it's some with plates. They're in a very tumultuous time. It's rumble season. Yeah, what is that? Like August, October, I think down there's rumble season. Rumble season. That is what speaking. they say. They say get ready to rumble. <laughs> and then, I do say that, <laughs> and then it starts rumbling. <laughs> yeah, you know, they kind of call it into action. Are you from Los- Ch- Are you from Chile, or do you have any relatives from Chile? Because that sounded. Very authentic yeah. <laughs> is the word I think I'm looking for. Chet, you know, I work with a guy who was from Chile. Uh, he also did the lisp, kind of like the guys from España. <laughs> His wife made me a mango cake for my birthday one year. It was amazing. Mm, mango cake. Have icing on it? Yes. <laughs> mango flavored icing on the mango cake? No, there was just a shitload of mangoes inside of the cake. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Doesn't sound very good to me. But <laughs> to each their own. <laughs> it's like the strawberry preserves of cakes. Yeah. is a mango cake. Yeah. Are you, by the way, are you more into jelly, jam, preserves? What are you thinking, Chris? I am I am 100% a jam guy. That's where it Give has me a what? a good raspberry jam. Ugh. Yeah, yeah it's just a, so it still has a little bit of the fruit in it, but it's not like a pres- like a nasty preserver. It has like a full strawberry in it. I always hated. No, eating I a- want, I want all the seeds. I know a lot of seeds and raspberry. Yeah, jam. <laughs> that is good with those, some crunchy peanut butter. Are you crunchy peanut butter or smooth peanut butter? You go smooth. You go Peter Pan, or I go. I mo- I put them both together. Put mm. both of what? Crunchy. I I, I I I do. Like some toast, right? I put it smooth on one, and I put crunchy on the other. I've never together. heard of that yeah. before. Yeah, Might my wife well is like, crunchy. what are you doing wasting your money buying both kinds of peanut butter if you just, just you need to pick one? Oh, okay, okay. I didn't know if you were going to say, since you're using two, you get them for double the amount of time, so it's actually a money saver, like yeah. a life hack. You don't have to drive to the grocery store, you save gas. That could actually be a life hack. It's somewhat of a little tasty life hack, isn't it, Chris Duke? It sure is. Yeah, you put the smooth peanut butter on one side of the toast, crunchy on the other, and then some raspberry preserves in the in the middle, and then you put them all together, and then back in the toaster. Back in the toaster, I, I, forty-five to fifty minutes. Yes, I used to describe to people that uh, my grandma is so racist that uh, she won't even combine the. She was a a, a jelly person. But she wouldn't even combine the the peanut butter and jelly for her sandwiches. She That's would eat weird. them separate but equally. Mm. Weird. So she would take a bite of the peanut butter one and then a bite of the jelly one. Yeah, she's so against mixing <laughs> that she won't even. Ugh. And you know having it. And you know it's bad if it if it, that's even with just peanut butter and jelly. Yeah, that she's jelly still... person sounds like a racial slur. Look at that jelly person. It, yeah. <laughs> Is she still with us? Unfortunately, she won't fucking die. Uh, she's 99 years old. Wow. My sweet grandma, uh, Lily, 
or Lucille it has dementia. She's 85 and losing her mind, but my racist grandma from Idaho is still alive and kicking. Are you worried she's going to watch this and hear what you're saying about her? No, I don't no, care. Yeah, she I'm told sure. me that I was... <laughs> I don't know if you remember, but... Uh, so I, I grew up Mormon. Yeah. And uh, so a lot of Mormons in Idaho. And yeah, my racist Mormon grandmother told me that I was going to hell because I won't stop fooling around. Well, just ask for forgiveness. Yeah, it's one of the big portions of hell is people who kind of mess around a yeah. little bit. <laughs> it's yeah, there's fools. a whole section for tomfoolery. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're right. <laughs> you well, know, Will, you and I got sober around the same time, too. Oh, did we? How was that? I had no idea. How's it going? How's it been going for you? It's been going good. Cool. Yeah, I remember at the podcast, were you drinking? I think I was drinking some of my, my old English 40 ounces, yeah. maybe, or something. I think I got pretty lit up during that thing. I have a, a video of, I I couldn't figure out how to do the whole lighter bottle, like opening up a, a bottle with a lighter. Yep, yep. And I took so long, and I gave up, and you opened it for me. And by the Sounds time it opened, right. it was like, skadoosh. Exploded. It exploded? Exploded. That's what happened. That's how they say it in Chile. Skadoosh manoosh. Exploded. Exploded. I, I, beat I am also coming to uh, Texas in October. Cool. We're I'd busy. love to bring my, my gear and, and, and have you both on Ye Old Podcast if it's possible. Cool. Yeah. Just reach out to us. Reach out to us. So you still been should doing I, your... Should I, should I ask Grant? Go through Grant. Yeah, you're going to have to go through Grant, yeah. but uh, <laughs> we'll see what he says. I mean, sometimes he's in a mood and no. nothing ever happens. Uh, yeah, Grant, he went ahead and stopped no. to that. No, yeah. it's not happening. Oh, we no. already said no. We'd love to talk, but unfortunately, Grant's going to go yeah. ahead. He's going to put a hold on that. So He's using again, we think. Yeah, he's been so. using all day. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> he's back on the PCP. Is he getting wet? We, we don't really it. know. Yeah, we don't know if it's Vicodin or PCP, but either way, he's very volatile. Yes, it's something that makes you like really angry. Yeah. So might be muscle relaxants. Could we don't know. <laughs> somas. He's doing a lot of like WWE wrestler drugs, like somas and stuff like that. It's it's a yeah, it's a weird recipe. Hard to be around. Cool. Chris, it's wonderful to talk to you again. Uh yeah, oh my gosh. That's I totally remember that in that hotel. This is a blast. Yeah, we were both pretty tanked by the end of it. <laughs> I remember, kind of. <laughs> I kind of remember. A couple of boys talking about the master. Yeah. 40s in a hotel room. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> Sounds like a drunk conversation. <laughs> There's a lot of kangaroo jack, a lot of whippets. Um, <laughs> we're yeah, doing whippets who, on the podcast? No, we were oh, just okay. talking about That's funny. that same day we saw a handicapped parking spot that had eight empty cans of, of ready whip <laughs> some of them stacked in order and then i'm assuming by the time they were done a lot of them had tipped over so somebody was just somebody was stole some shit and was doing it in the bargain lot yeah it was pretty bonkers yeah it's bad don't get nobody get into that inhalants yeah a disaster all right chris well great talking to you man <laughs> holler at us whenever you're in uh austin Sounds good, man. Thanks for having me on, guys. Yeah, thanks for calling in. Good to talk to you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> they, I heard bounced. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they always, uh, when you take them off, they get like one last word in when it's just the background. I it's kind of eerie. We never I, see them I hit the that. button over on one window to get rid of them, and then I'm like, oh, I need to remove them from the waiting room. <laughs> so what should we do? Should we do one more? Are we done? or You guys want one more? Do one more. Yeah. Let me do one. We do yeah, one Give me a number one through ten. What do you feel, Casey? We'll say it on the count of three. <laughs> one, <laughs> two, two, three, three eight. Six. <laughs> eight. So maybe seven? <laughs> maybe seven. We we'll do it in the, in the middle. middle. Yeah, let me count. Maybe that's how I do that. <laughs> <laughs> Just meet in the middle. All right, well, <clears throat> Doug G. Doug. Doug. Give me some of that. No. Give me some Doug. I'm trying to see a little bit of that Doug. <laughs> And my Zen pouches were still in the couch. I was like, when I got <laughs> back in the car last week, I was like, fuck, they're not in my pocket. <laughs> it's funny. They were still just in the couch waiting for you.
All right, this is Doug G. There's a part of the... Hello. Doug, 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 Doug. Part of the tattoo. <laughs> oh, yeah. Doug, uh, is your mic working? Can you hear us? Doug, I have in my hand a piece of William's skin that it's been peeling. <laughs> he really does. Uh, How are you, Doug G? How you doing, man? Pretty good. Yourself? Cool. Doing good. It's been a fun. It's been fun talking to people, and I'm just trying not to think about the horrible traffic I'm about to be in. But other than that, no, I'm kidding. It'll be fun. But we yeah, we're. I'm doing good. Lost in traffic, huh? Yeah, it gets traffic. It's really not that bad, but during the rush hour, it can kind of get bad. Oh, yeah. Where are you? I just moved to Fort Collins, Colorado. Oh, the Comedy Fort is a great comedy club out there. Ooh, okay. Yeah, I'll that is a, that is a good one. I lived in Denver for three years, and I remember there was fun uh, comedy stuff up in Fort Collins. I would drive up to Fort Collins. Um, it was always fun. Yeah, I definitely got to make it out to uh, uh, Denver Comedy Works for sure. Yeah, that's a classic place. Yeah, there's a lot of good comedy stuff in Denver, and that's not too far away. Cool. Well, well, it's probably nice weather there. Or is it very hot like it is here today? Oh, my gosh. it's uh, We're getting a little breaksy right now, but uh, it's been a little steamy for sure. It's like in the 90s here. Pretty gnarly. Oh, yeah. 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 Well, it's much hotter here, Doug. Yeah, I think we're 106 today. My car said 118 when I turned it on. <laughs> yeah. Nice. <laughs> I know. Cook an egg on your baby. Yeah, hot as hell. You could cook an egg on your baby, especially if it's outside. I mean, it's, it's on the trampoline or something. Yeah. You guys want to meet my new roommate? Yeah. Do you like, are y'all getting along? I did not know there was another Grant, person in the room. I'm sorry. Check the room, yeah, and also, man. yeah, I mean, it's been... Here he is. Oh. That's Lebowski. Oh. Oh my God! Say hi, Lebowski. <gasps> Le- Lebowski. Lebowski. The rug tied the room together, Lebowski. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that predator. Does he see a rat or some sort of snake out there? Yeah, what's he looking at? Yeah, there's a there's a little bunny rabbit out there. Your little bunny rabbit, or just a wild one? Just a wild one chilling in the grass, about to get murdered. Oh, that's fun. Will you let will you yeah, unleash Lebowski out. on him? <laughs> Point the camera. I don't know. Out the Lebowski's uh, looking a little uh, feral right now, so I don't know. Oh my gosh, that could be fun. Getting some sort of animal death on this that, thing that, that could, could be good for views. Yeah, it could be just yeah. <laughs> but I don't know. Him. Is he an indoor and outdoor cat, or you can't let him outside? Uh, he's an indoor cat right now. Uh, he's uh, not. He doesn't belong to me, but. Um, the owner likes to keep him inside for now. Cool. Are you looking at the owner right there? No, that's uh, <laughs> that's my other roommate, Logan. God kind of damn it, Grant. <laughs> How's Logan doing today? Was he named after the X-Man guy? <laughs> There's an X-Man guy named Logan. Wolverine, you son of a bitch. Wolverine, what's up? Uh, uh, X-Men guy, okay. I thought you said like an Axe-Man was like running around chopping people up. <laughs> Too scary <laughs> for me, brother. Yeah, we're not Halloween yet, but yeah, when it gets not to be good. Halloween, I'll be watching that stuff for sure. There's a new- what's your favorite Halloween movie? Maybe Halloween 3. I really cannot stand Jason Voorhees. So no, not <laughs> oh, Jason yeah. Voorhees. Who's Michael the, Myers? Michael Myers. Yeah, Season oh, of the Witch. Okay, okay. It's yeah, doesn't one. the third one not have Michael Myers? Yeah, it's just Season of the Witch. It's about hunted masks that make people turn to goo. Is that a good one? I never saw that one. I was lying. <laughs> it's not very good. <laughs> have you ever seen it? What's your favorite scary movie? Ooh, um probably Jaws. Hmm. Ooh, interesting. They they shot Jaws, too, at Navarre Beach. I found that out last night. I watched some YouTube video of some guy eating at all the weird McDonald's in Florida. <laughs> I've been what? watching a lot of YouTube videos <laughs> like that recently. He ate at all the weird McDonald's in Florida. <laughs> and he, get, he was given too many tidbits, though. He's trying to be too funny in between the visits of yeah. McDonald's. It kind of put me off a little bit. I didn't, I didn't like it. Yeah. Too, way too many facts about it. Um. But yeah, draws too. Well, that's fun. Yeah, I didn't know if it'd be Tremors. Tremors is is that a horror movie or yeah, Tremors? Yeah, I think so. Kevin it's Bacon, like one of the old ones, I think. What's well, like Jaws in the desert and the worm in the sand? 
And please don't make a peep, Doug, because the worms can hear it. Yep. It is like a desert version of Jaws. Yeah, you got to be quiet in the desert. <laughs> Very yeah, scary. Yeah, it's real wet out there in the desert uh, right now. Burning Man. With uh, Drying Man, yeah. Yeah, Burning Man. Gosh, I saw some pictures the other night of some dude a couple years ago ran into one of the big Burning Man burning things. Yes, he ran Yikes. into it and killed himself. Ah! Yeah. Whoa. Yeah, he ran right I into it. Too bad it wasn't raining when he did that, because, yeah, he burned alive, I think, in there. Yeah, he Ugh. ran into it. <laughs> I remember that. What a horrifying thing to see, like, when you're on LSD, is to see a man run into the burning man. Yeah, I can't even imagine. Horrifying. Horrifying, <laughs> or just, like, uh, super cool. I don't know. Could you be. see that on it, you know? you know? There's the guy. There's the picture. <laughs> Bye-bye. <laughs> he has a water bottle, just in case. <laughs> yeah, at least he has his water bottle around his wrist. <laughs> What's that for? <laughs> Just in case he that gets second sense. thoughts. <laughs> Gotta uh, stay hydrated. For sure. What are you eating later? Dude, that's a good question. Ooh, maybe some Raisin Canes. Ooh, I do love that yeah. place. That is really good. Good toast. And maybe think yeah. about Chili's. They're closing down their 1,000 Chili's really soon. So, cool. are, they're, yeah, they're Chili's in Fort Collins, I think. Mm -hmm, there should be. Yeah. Yeah, I'll have to get some chips and salsa for sure. Ooh, with that if cheese If I do dip. go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, with that Ooh, cheese dip. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd sell wherever you're at, Doug. Even if you're at a profit loss, I'd go ahead and sell, man. I'd dump that stuff. Yeah, if you happen to have any assets and chilies, get rid of it. Mm -hmm. Even it's not going yeah. back up. Well, mm -hmm. I think I have a, a trust fund or uh uh, ETF in Chili's, so I'm, I I got to drop. I got to sell. Fuck. Yeah, get rid of your ETFs, especially if they're in Chili's. I definitely sell. You one of those Chili's trust fund babies, huh, Doug? Yeah. You, as you pin, dude. You, you must peg. be rich. Yeah, totally. I mean, um, it just started when I was young. You know, like I just learned <laughs> yeah. about stocks and one thing after another. interest i mean you're probably <laughs> your interest is probably astronomical right now i mean the cpo is on chilies man just phew. so when you said that about a thousand chilies closing down i was like fuck yeah the gears started turning a little bit didn't they for sure yeah well we're just trying to warn people yeah quarter three was catastrophic for them pretty much so we're just yeah. trying to let everybody know yeah who knows where the economy's headed? We're tumbling down right now. <laughs> I know. Well, you're in a pretty good spot, Colorado, because you could probably drive up into the mountains very easily and be totally isolated. So you're probably in a good oh, spot up there. Totally self-sufficient. I suppose, yeah. If a nuclear war went off, yeah, I'd be in a good spot for that, I suppose. You would. You just need to start accumulating slowly some stuff. You need like a solar power generator. Think about one of those. You're going to need one of those in the mountains. You're going to need some those blankets that look like spacemen blankets that are like <laughs> silver. Those are good for like emergency. Yeah. True. Yeah. Whistles. Maybe some uh, colloidal maybe silver. Some peanut butter pretzels as well. Ooh. Yum. That could be good for protein. <laughs> But From I, Kirkland, that's a good brand of those cho of mm -hmm. the peanut uh, pretzels for sure. Yeah. Costco is a product of Costco company. Great stock right now. Yeah, that is actually a good one. They had a great quarter three. Yeah. It's not true. Yeah. Bring, yeah. Swing. Yep. It happens. Well, Doug G, it's wonderful to talk to you. Thank you so much for calling. I pray to God Lebowski's doing well. Maybe unleash him. Uh, maybe oh, yeah. let him have some fun with the rabbit or maybe bring the rabbit into your place because you don't want the Lebowski running off or you're going to get in trouble with the with the person. Yeah. Logan will kick Could've, your yeah. damn ass. Yeah, Logan seemed kind of mean. I don't think you want to get on Logan's bad side. So maybe keep... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm watching him. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we can tell. Yeah. We see you looking at it. <laughs> like with one eye open. This might be an active hostage situation. Yeah, Logan seems pretty pretty cynical. Yeah. <laughs> um, all right, Doug. Well, great talking to you, man. All right, yeah. Peace out. Bye. Bye Got to be careful living in Colorado. Yeah. They got that Florence Supermax prison. So if shit hits the wall, those gates open automatically. For it's sure, Suicide Squad situation. You're in the you're who is it? The Unabomber, the Boston yeah. bomber. Yeah, uh, famous mafia members, mafia people. I mean, yeah, you don't want to be around Florex, Florex, Florence. <laughs> what is it? A something? Florence Supermax. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, Gary Ridgeway, the Green, the Green River Killer. Yeah, he's living there. Yeah, 
the angel of death was living there before damn Biden traded his ass for damn Brittany Grinus. Gosh, what a trade that was. What a damn trade. And now there's egg on our face. Yep. Um, okay, well, this was fun talking to people. This was fun. It's always good to talk to the damn. Yeah, good to talk to people on here. And people there were a were, lot of people we missed out on, too. So. And people were praying for you, which was nice. That was nice, and it makes me feel stronger every time I hear about it. And I, good. Yeah, yeah. Doing so much better. Taking my vitamins. I ate an apple yesterday. That's good. An apple day keeps the doctor away and your eye looks better. Eyes better. Grant, let's get a zoom in on that eye. It's much better. Whoop. Enhanced. <laughs> Enhanced. Enhanced. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm doing much better. As you can see, my cheeks have filled out. I, I'm I'm ready for summer. Yeah. And right at its right at its tail end. So hope we're at the end of it. And I hope we are with this with the heat. Some of this heat. <laughs> Yeah, I hope we are. Enhance. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have a Google eye? Oh, I'm so worried. One of my eyes is crooked. No, it's not. It's not crooked. Summertime. The craziest time of year. <laughs> <laughs> Pain. The most human emotion. That really is true. Um, okay, well, it was fun today. It was fun. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> Bye. Thanks for joining us for this week's episode of The William Montgomery Show. Send your questions, artwork, and manifestos to the William Montgomery Show at gmail.com. Leave William a voicemail at 737 471 1098. Never miss an episode of The William Montgomery Show by subscribing to The William Montgomery Show channel on YouTube and anywhere podcasts are sold. Check out William online at william.f.montgomery1 on Instagram. For more William Montgomery, check out Kill Tony on YouTube and see him live at the Vulcan Gas Company in Austin, Texas every Monday night. For more of me, Brett Erickson, check out Issues with Andy on Patreon. Find me on Twitter and Instagram at ibretmypants. This episode of The William Montgomery Show was recorded at Permanent Record Studios right here in the heart of Austin. The William Montgomery Show is produced by William Montgomery and Brett Erickson. The William Montgomery Show is a Fanny Co. production. Thanks for joining us. See you next time. Shh. Who the fuck said that? I'm trying to have fun tonight. <laughs> Maybe we should just do the podcast like this. Yeah, I kind of like it like this. Yeah, this is kind of fun, Grant. Maybe next time we can just do it like this. Really? I think this looks really good. <clears throat> Has this ever been done before? I don't know if this has ever <laughs> I been don't done think before. So. This would, oh my God, the YouTube shorts would blow up. Yeah, they'd get big. This is perfect for the algorithm.